What's up guys, back at it again today with something special. Today we'll be checking out Hex Gaming's Ultra X controllers for Xbox Series X and S. Described on the box as a tactical gaming controller designed for esports, these controllers are another competitor to say Scuf brand or Xbox Elite Series controllers. Hex Gaming takes official controllers for both Xbox and PlayStation, then heavily modifies them to make their premium custom controllers. Each controller comes with a six month warranty, which is significantly shorter than when you buy them from Xbox or Microsoft, so I would suggest thoroughly testing your controllers when you get them to make sure you fall within that six month window if you have any issues. With all that being said, let's get into it. Each controller does come shipped extremely well. The box itself feels really nice and premium like a smartphone, which really isn't important I know, but for the price you'll be paying to get one of these, it's a nice added touch. There's a label at the top here showing where you can find your eight in one thumbstick attachments, which I'm sure someone would have thrown out if that label wasn't there. We'll put that aside for now and take a look at the controller itself. Like I said, everything comes packed really nicely here. We have some foam wrapping, then some bubble wrap here inside we can play with later. I heard they're banning bubble wrap, but I'm not sure if that's true, depending on where you are in the world. Here is the back of the controller with the four remappable buttons and the remapping button itself. Here's the front of the controller. We'll need to take these little foam things off the thumbsticks. This is a custom design I came up with using Hex Gaming's controller builder on their website. I went with a custom fiber faceplate and rubberized grips which I can tell you right away feels really good and super high quality. The back of the controller also gives a really good first impression, but we'll have to test it out a bit later here to see if that rings true. I also added some transparent green buttons and some adjustable triggers. There is a little switch on both sides of the controller, allowing you to switch between a 1.5 millimeter clicky trigger and the normal full trip. It does take a bit of force to switch between the two, but I guess that's good in a way. There surely won't be any accidental switches mid game. The triggers and bumpers themselves feel super nice with this transparent green plastic they use, but there are a lot of other options we'll check out a bit later, such as chrome and metal, I think, or chrome metal. I had a lot of fun playing with them and switching back and forth here. I had a lot of fun just feeling up the controller and clicking the 1.5 millimeter clicky triggers that feel really nice and clicky. I can think of a few games that would be really good for these, especially older Xbox games. Maybe you can recommend some games for me to test out down in the comments. That would be fun with these clicky triggers here. On the back of the controllers, where you will find the four remappable buttons, K1, K2, K3, and K4. These controllers allow you to save up to six different profiles using the remapping button that distinguishes the profiles using different color LEDs, but I'll need some batteries in the controller before I can show you that. So we might as well take a quick look inside the battery compartment. There is Hex Gaming's mission statement. I'll be heavily testing this controller before the second half of the video to see if that mission statement rings true. The first thing I want to do here is take a quick look at the Hex Gaming website and their make your own controller option. The Ultra X controller we'll be checking out in today's video has a base price of $179.99 before adding any upgrades. This is definitely a lot of money to pay for a gaming controller, but if you're someone that doesn't mind spending top dollar to get that next level gaming experience, it's definitely worth considering. Hex Gaming's main competitors are brands like Scuf controllers, which can cost even more depending on which options you pick. At first I was just going to go with the standard black faceplate, but I really wanted to test out the black graphite and carbon fiber look because it looked really good on the website and after receiving it, I can tell you it does. I had fun playing around with the controller builder and I tried to make the most expensive controller possible and I came up with this $313 blood splatter abomination here. Hex Gaming also has other custom controller options to pick from for other consoles and they also have pre-built controllers if you don't feel like customizing your own. The Ultra X controller I wanted to test out because of the 8-in-1 thumbsticks along with those remapping buttons on the back. But here are a few of the other options. Here we have the six additional thumbsticks plus the two that are already on the controller. They come in a variety of sizes and styles that you can mix and match, so there really are more than eight and one thumbsticks with all the possible options. They feel super high quality and grippy and pop on and off super quickly, but don't feel flimsy in any way. I tested out a bunch of different setups with a few of my favorite games that I'll show in a second. Here are just how a few of the thumbsticks look on their own. I think this one here in the front is my favorite with the smaller one on the left and the bigger one on the right. Something about that just felt really good for shooting games. I'll show you really quick how the thumbsticks pop on and off. Super easy. Just like that. Here's the taller ones. I don't know what I'd use the taller ones for necessarily, but they feel really good. 
I played with this controller on a large number of games over the next two weeks before posting this video, including some of my favorite games like Skate 3, Call of Duty, and Fortnite. From the moment I picked up this controller, I knew it was going to be good, but after using it for a few more hours than I'd like to admit over the past few weeks, it truly exceeded all of my expectations. I actually had a really hard time putting down the controller. I was just having so much fun messing around with all these different thumbstick options, and here's some gameplay here. Skate 3 is one of my all-time favorite games. I just can't wait for Skate 4 to come out. I had to test it out with some of these thumbsticks here, and I'm not sure if I would use anything different than the normal setup, but they feel super nice and they're fun to play with. To be fully transparent, Hex Gaming did send me this controller for free to review for this video, but I'm not being paid or told what to say in any way. If you do decide to buy something using my affiliate link or coupon codes, I will get a small percentage of the sales, but I will always be honest about the products I review. Specifically, when it comes to these controllers, there are things I don't like and I would change, such as, such as the placement of the trigger adjustment switches and the back buttons, but honestly, for the most part, this controller is perfect. I really don't know if I would have ever went out and spent the money to try one of these on my own, but now that I've used the Ultra X controller, I really don't know if I can ever go back to the stock controller again. The rubberized grips alone were a game changer. It really makes the controller feel like more of a tool than a toy. Combined with the adjustable triggers and remapping buttons, this controller just feels substantial. Nothing like that flimsy plastic OEM controllers I'm used to. The four remappable buttons can be saved to up to six different profiles. Double tapping the remapping button will change the profile and the LED will change to a different color to represent the different profiles. No light means the rear buttons are disabled, which is a good option if you don't want to use them. To reassign a rear button, hold down the remapping button for three seconds until it starts flashing. Next, hold down the button you want to remap to the back button at the same time. A rapid red flash means it worked. If you did something wrong, the rear button is already assigned to that button or something, it will flash slowly. It isn't that easy to distinguish between the two from just reading the manual, but once you've done it once or twice, it really is pretty simple. Just continue with this process until you've remapped all the buttons you want and hold down the remapping button for an additional three seconds and your setup will be saved. One of the things I would change if anything were possible is the placement of the trigger adjustment switches and possibly the back buttons. When I just play games naturally and hold onto the controller in different positions, the switch doesn't always sit between my fingers perfectly and it is noticeable at times. Although it doesn't bother me really at all and I kind of like it, I can see how it might bother other people, especially for extending gaming sessions. For me, however, I just couldn't get enough of this controller and feeling all the customizations only added to the experience. I liked it so much that I went ahead and got a second controller for myself in black and blue this time and I really love how this one turned out. This time I customized the thumbsticks with blue accents and solid blue bases. I stuck with the transparent buttons in blue this time because I just really love how they feel. I just can't say enough about the 8-in-1 thumbsticks and the added blue accents just make them look even better. I think this second controller might have come out even better than the first one. There is just something that feels so right about having different thumbstick options to choose between different games. It kind of makes controllers from the past seem a little archaic and boring. Whether or not shelling out $250 for a video game controller is worth it from companies like Hex Gaming. They really put pressure on game brands like Xbox and PlayStation to up their game. The Xbox Elite Series controllers are a step in the right direction, but those don't compare to Hex Gaming's Ultra X Series controllers, in my opinion. The level of customization you have with these things is pretty impressive, and the thumbsticks are some of the best I've ever felt. Combined with the adjustable triggers and remappable back buttons, Hex Gaming's Ultra X controller is one of the best, if not the best controllers I've ever played with. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite controller of all time is and what controllers you want to see me check out next. As always, I left a link down in the description with everything featured in today's video. Thank you so much for checking out one of my long form videos. We've been having some good success with shorts lately, but I always struggle on my long form videos. Thank you for watching.